Rest just a few months after her father died from cancer. Actor, that's how we know Olivia Newton-John. Well, now she's taken her personal passion for the environment and created an earth-friendly children's book called A Pig Tale. And we are glad to have her with us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. I finally, finally get to meet this person that I saw in Greece so many years ago. What prompted you to write this book? This book really started out as a joke. I was telling a friend of mine, my co-author Brian Hurst, uh, some jokes about pigs one day because I, I thought we're always calling people pigs when we think they do bad things. How do the pigs feel about this? So I, I made up these jokes and he said that'd be a great idea for a, a, a joke book. So it started out as a joke book, it went into an animation idea and finally I was, it was just fate I guess. I was sitting next to the, the head of Simon and Schuster one night at an AIDS benefit and, and at the end of the evening he said, well, if you ever have a book? And I said, well, actually I do. I, I have do a children's book something. idea for you. And, and so that's really how it evolved into this. There is an environmental theme that runs throughout this book. Yes. And it seems to be directed towards recycling. Yes. Is, is the message too subtle for young kids to get it? No, I think that's why we did it. I mean, we wanted, I wanted the, the, the story about the pigs because in the beginning it was a whole saga which we hope will evolve into other books because the pigs go on journeys now after this book. But um, yes, I wanted it to have a, a reason and to give them just a little idea of what they could do and give them some positive information about the environment because they get all this overwhelming stuff about what is going wrong and you know my daughter's always saying oh mama every night she prays for the environment to be cleaned up so we want to give them positive ideas what they can do okay give, in us, a kind of a, give us just a, a little bit of the book and a show little us bit? the direction that okay. it's going in here. all right well this is in the middle of the book but i have a couple of pages okay, okay. hold on i've got the first page i'm sorry so in the wrong place. here we go now some pigs like garbage and most pigs like slop but no other pig was like Ziggy's old pop. He saved and collected most any old thing, from biscuits to baskets to miles of old string, from cans to flat tires to old paper bags to sofas and soup spoons to old clothes and rags, from rubber bands, golf balls, and horns from old jeeps to whatchamacallits and bleepity bleeps. So this is a pig who is amassing all this garbage and eventually turns it into this magical creation. Turns it into a beautiful we, we won't give away the end of the book <laughs> okay. and, and, and the things that will follow it. Yes. You dedicated this book to your daughter and also to a, to a young girl named Colette Shuda, yes. who died of cancer a couple of years ago. Yes. This is something that, of course, you have had personal experience with. I have. It's been too close for comfort, but this um, has a good, um, a good ending to it. I mean, uh, it was a ter terrible tragedy that Colette died, but we've dedicated um, an environmental fund in her name, mm -hmm. and we are um, giving the money to studies to find out why there is such an increase in children's cancer and we're finding out that the environment has such an incredible link to it you know the, there are so many carcinogens in children's home and school environments and in the food and in the water so we want to eventually um, get le legislation changed to protect our kids and a lot of people of course are saying that breast cancer which you suffered from mm -hmm. may be environmentally linked you were diagnosed just a little more than a year ago yep. how are things now Great. I'm great. I'm in perfect health and um, it won't come back. And I'm also, I want to help women who have gone through what I've gone through. Mm -hmm. And I think the most important thing is to be really positive about it. And Did you confront your own mortality? Oh, when that happened, oh, and, yes. and, and how may that manifest itself in, in a new set of songs that you're crafting? Well, funny you should say that. No, I wrote, uh, I've written a lot of songs in the last year about what I went through, about my feelings, about my fears, about the, the planet and how I feel so connected to her. And um, that's going to be my next thing, my mm -hmm. next project. Do you want to get back to, to where Olivia Newton-John was as far as on the top of the charts and in movies and, and just about everywhere as you were some 13 years ago? I'm very happy where I am now. You know, I, whatever it happens, happens. That's not my focus. My focus is my life, my family, um, helping with the planet and helping other women mm -hmm. with what I've gone through. And... Um, you know, I've, I've done everything. I, I'm a very fortunate person as I've had that incredible success. If it happened, it would be great, but that's really not my focus in life now. My focus is being a healthy, happy human being. I love you, Newton-John. Finally, great to meet you. A Pigtail is Thank the you. new children's book. Thank you. Thank you.